All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right? All right? Am I all right? Can you see? In the frame? Good to go? All right. Okay. First and foremost, if you came to this video on YouTube right now and you're stoned eating a peanut butter jelly sandwich behind your computer, trying to learn how to be Bear Grylls or Cody London or 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 any multitude of, of those super uber woodsman expert pro, I do this for a living, uh, I can make fire in the woods without a lighter <laughs> kind of guys, then, then you should stop watching right now. This whole entire Yule series is not to show you how to be pro in the woods. I, I'm not a pro. I don't get paid to do it. I just enjoy doing it. I am uh, an overweight college student who enjoys hiking in the woods. Uh, I, I guess I get some spiritual benefit out of it. Um, it's and and that's it. I'm not Bear Grylls. You get over it. Not everybody that posts a fucking going into the woods video on YouTube is fucking goddamn Ray Mears. All right. <laughs> I'm just a dude that has about a decade of hiking experience now, uh, and even even longer of of backpack experience. And I have the goal of going and seeing if it's possible to live out of the backpack in the woods when you move four miles a day, you know, and all that other shit I came up with. Like down to 20 degrees and I got a whole stipulation of shit. Also, if you think that this video is going to be edited to the point where you don't have to have an attention span, you should also stop watching this fucking video. In fact, do not watch any more of my videos. Period. Alright? Uh, not only do I normally have like ADD tendencies, but I'm getting coked out on green tea right now. And so now I'm like... And I'm going to go on super long, huge tangents. If, however, you came to see a video because you wanted to see the, the current context of my... the current iteration of my Yule system, this video is for you. Um, I'm going to do it two ways. First, I'm just going to rip everything out of it and tell you what it is because some people just want to see what's in it. Fair. I understand that. And then, after I do that, I'm going to go through one by one and I brought all my toys and just all my toys and just laid them all out. And uh, I'm going to explain to you why what's in my bag is in my bag currently. Alright, so here we go. First of all, this is the Kelty Red Wing 50 pack. This is a very nice pack. Uh, I like it a lot. That's right. I, I forgot. I'm not. I'm not doing the, the what ifs now. Kelty Red Wing pack. Here we go. Uh, this is a little foam pad I got from Walmart. Walmart foam sleeping pad. Boom. I'll put it over here so you can see. Uh, water system. This is a clean canteen, 40 ounce. This is a Snow Peak 700, I think, or 900 cup that I put on the bottom of it. And that is just a OD Green bandana because I'm addicted to OD Green. It's over here so you guys can see the lineup. All right, Catadin, Pocket Pro, I think. Water filter. Boom. Boom! Uh, USGI poncho. Boom! Bucko Laplander saw. Boom! Uh-oh. Uh, this is the Becker BK2 Campanion Knife. Boom! This is a USGI wet weather bag. Boom! 
These are Marina, this is two pair, they're inside each other, of Marina wool bottoms. I forget who does them. And I don't think they say, they're made in Vietnam. Smart wool. Smart wool, Marina wool bottoms, two pair, inside each other. Same thing with tops, inside each other. This is a wool hat. I got it off Amazon, brand name Wigwam. USGI Bivy. Yay! Two Duke 1.5 coil spring traps. Yay! Three USGI PDKs. One has tinder in it, one has fishing gear. One has nothing, I think. I think I was going to put soap in it. Yay! Uh, one pair of wool socks. Supposed to be two pair. This is a Sea Lion Sky something. Sky bag, Sky Storm, Sea Lion Storm? Sea Lion Storm bag, I think. It's got four pounds of food in it. Yay! This is a homemade. Ah. <laughs> a homemade ripstop nylon bag. Possible pouch. It's got. I don't even know if you guys can see that in there. It's got a bunch of stuff. It's got mosquito netting. It's got these little fruit nets. It's got a whole bunch of braided nylon, tarred nylon twine. It's got a black cat. <laughs> I got some iodine, some salt, uh, Coughlin fire starter. I guess I can take these out of the package, huh? There you go, iodine. Little plastic bag. I, I don't know why that's in there. I think, never mind. We're not at that point yet. That's right. Uh, sewing kit. Yay. Coughlin's fire starter. Yay. Ferro rod. Film canister full of salt. Yay. Two Bic lighters. Because you're dumb if you go in the woods without a Bic lighter. God. <laughs> Swear to God, some of you guys. All right. Sea line 20 liter Baja dry bag. Love these things. These things are unbelievable. And inside the sea line Baja dry bag, we have a two Pendleton wool blankets. One's larger than the other. Here you go. A little Pendleton blanket. Yay! Another Pendleton blanket. Yay! I think that's it. That's... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um... Yeah. Map of the operating area. Ma laminated map. You can get them laminated for like four bucks. You can print them out online. And compass. And you know what? There was like some more crucial gear that I had. But I think it's in my bag downstairs. Anyway. Uh, what else did I know was in there was a, uh, a boonie hat that I waxed. Melt some wax on it throw it in the dryer. Wax boonie hat. Um, and a scarf. Had a USGI wool scarf. Another pair of wool socks. And I think that's it. I'm pretty sure that's it. And that's what's in my, the current iteration of my Yule's bag. And cut if we're going to cut, I guess. Yeah, we should probably cut. I think the next video is going to be like... Jeez, it's probably going to be an hour long. I'm probably going to have to chunk it up into like four segments. Alright, so when we come back, I will break out all my toys and explain to you why I'm carrying the things that I'm carrying in my pack.